This is my one-handed top palm, and uh, bottom palm, sorry. And I've palmed the card there. So it's not an invisible palm, it needs a bit of misdirection, but the good thing about this bottom palm is you can come, you can do it down there. Oops, got caught up there. Uh, you can do it, <laughs> get that wire out of the way. You can do it down there, and the, the, the card is palmed. So a lot of, as I'm gonna say in the close up as well, a lot of one-handed top palms feel a bit, uh, bottom palms, I keep saying top palms, feel a bit balancey to me. You've got to kind of put the deck in a very slightly weird position. Now, someone like Ben Earl is a lot better at this. He doesn't have to, but I always feel like I'm kind of having to balance it a little bit and get in, to get that to get that card um, palmed in. With this one, there's no balance. You're gripping the deck and that you can do it, like I can do it with the deck facing, not I never would, but with the hands like this. So gravity is nothing, you don't, gravity doesn't play a part at all. So I can be down here, I can gesture, I can do the palm, give the pack out for shuffling. Um, the, the only downside, there is, is a way of doing it, but it's not very good for multiple cards. Now there is a way of doing it, but it's a bit, uh, this is a kind of single bottom, one-handed bottom palm really. And if you're gonna do multiple cards, then the, the other one-handed bottom palm I think is a little bit better. But for one card, if, you're gonna, if you've got a card on the bottom of the deck, you're gonna hand it out for shuffling, put it back and you're, you're ready to go. So I'll go through the workings of it in close up, but just so you can see it in action, it's that there. So again, from here, and there's not that much movement, but like I say, it's something that you're gonna to wanna to misdirect from. And there's my one-handed bottom palm. 